Hi guys, and welcome to episode 5 of our Minecraft single player let's play. And I've got that morning voice, so if I sound different, <laughs> that's why. Uh, oh, what are we going to do today? Hmm. Uh, well, I actually want to show you uh, what I've gathered uh, as for materials. Uh, I have a clip of when I um, uh, enchanted a diamond axe, so I'll show that now. Alright everyone, uh, I'm recording this before the, uh, I actually record the um, uh, fifth episode, but I, uh, I wanted to enchant a, uh, a diamond axe so I can gather some wood in between the, uh, the two episodes. I uh, ended up getting 43 levels at the skeleton farm. And so I thought I'd come over here and go ahead and enchant an axe. Um, we could do a pick, but uh, I feel like we have the picks we need right now. We already have an a, a efficiency for a, um, I have a fortune pick already, and so that's all we really need. So I thought I'd go ahead and enchant the diamond axe and efficiency four. All right, that's fine. <laughs> it's okay. We, I will uh, get a lot of use out of this. So that's all. I just wanted to... Uh, uh, enchanted axe. Alright, so, uh, you saw the diamond axe, efficiency 4. Uh, where is it right now? Um, because I'd like to show the use I got out of it. Because I, uh, I basically killed the, killed the axe. Here. Yep, right here. <laughs> 66 deliberately left, so. Yeah, I kind of, uh, kind of got a good use out of that. Uh, here's all the wood I got. Um, some of this was from an, a couple iron axes, because once I almost killed the diamond one, I didn't really want to um, break it. So there we go. That's all the wood I got. So that should last us for a while. I kind of went ham. I uh, put on some uh, cool music and just went at it, trying to get as much wood as I could. So uh, let's go ahead and head over to the skeleton farm, because I would like to rename my diamond pick this one right here so that we can repair it easily so I'm gonna go ahead and head over to the skeleton farm because I have done some work over there and I want to show you guys what I've done alright uh, we are at the skeleton farm going down the ladder right now and uh, I did a little designing um, as far as the walls and the ceiling is kinda bland but uh, this is basically what I did um, put some crafting tables hidden in there um, not sure what to do about this back wall, but, uh, it's not quite finished yet. Uh, I started to go with stone bricks because we hadn't used stone bricks before. And stone bricks look really good with, uh, almost about anything. So I thought I would use them here, um, because it, it is a little further away from our base. And, uh, our base, um, design is a little, a little different. Uh, we don't, we're not using stone bricks, um, right now. Though, uh, I guess we could use them in the future in our base. But, um, yeah, so I thought I would use them here. Uh, so I'm going to get sit here for a, uh, a little bit, build up some skeletons, and uh, get ourselves, I think it's 31 levels we need so that we can uh, name this uh, efficiency pick so that we can uh, repair it easily. So I'm going to go ahead and sit here for a little bit, and uh, I will return once I have the uh, required levels. Alright guys, I have gotten the, all the levels we need for the uh, renaming of our pick. And I am going to go ahead and head back to the uh, base. Um, ooh, it's night time. Hmm. That'll be okay. Uh, I'm going to head and go ahead and head back to the base and uh, we'll return when we're ready to uh, rename our pick. Get away. <laughs> Where's the way? There we go. Alright guys, we're back at the base, so let's go ahead and jump in and rename our pick. Um, I don't even have an anvil. I don't think I have an anvil. I guess we're going to go ahead and build an anvil then. Um, now I'm pretty sure it's 31 levels we need to um, uh, rename the pick. So, And there's a zombie in here? No. I'm pretty sure mobs can't spawn anywhere in here, but I might be wrong. Hmm. Um, but yeah, we're going to go ahead and rename our pick, and, um, 
I'll show you how it's cheaper to um, to use a uh, renamed pick instead of oh there's a zombie wow look at that <laughs> unless it came in from up top uh, I'm gonna show you how it's easier to uh, not easier cheaper to rename oh that's where he came in cheaper to rename than uh, I don't know why I'm over here let's just go ahead and set this down somewhere all right so uh, if you were just to uh, repair your pick it would cost 18 levels for this pick uh, for the unbreaking three efficiency four um, now as you repair it more and more it's going to cost more and more levels which is one thing that uh, renaming uh, fixes so I'm going to go ahead and name it just CPR or CP rhymers pick like that oh, it's only going to cost us 20 levels that's nice and then to repair it 18 levels okay yep so it's gonna stay 20 levels for uh, for the remainder of our use on this pick which is nice so it's not gonna go up any so so yeah uh, what are we gonna do today um, man I'm all over the place <laughs> what are we gonna do today uh, actually what are we gonna do today um, hmm what do you think Nail him right in the head. Oh, look at that. <laughs> um, I'd actually like to start on the uh, um, storage room. So that's what we're going to go ahead and start on. Um, I'm going to go ahead and go through here and clear out a big area. Uh, before I do that, I probably need to repair my pick. So I'm probably going to go ahead and head back to the skeleton farm, repair my pick, dig out a big area, and uh, I'll be back. <laughs> yeah, I'll be back once I've got all that done. So kind of. Bum bum. Ba -da, ba -da, ba -da, ba -da. Oh, he got me. Alright guys, got I've me. done some work down there and I am just grabbing some some glass to make some glass panes uh, for something I'll show you in a second. I uh, also need to grab more wood because this thing is really taking a lot of wood to build. Uh, which is okay because we have a lot of wood now. Um, so It's uh, definitely worth the wood. But uh, here we go. Cleared out the area, and uh, here's what I've built so far. It's uh, nowhere close to being done. Um, but what I thought is I had these. Oh, I didn't mean to put that there. I had these um, kind of, I don't know, window things set up here, and I thought I'd put some flowers in the back. Uh, now I think I would want tulips, probably, um, because I think tulips look. A little nicer and uh, less um, wild, I guess you could say. Um, from the um, what are these roses now? Are they roses? Poppies. Yeah, sorry. They changed all the names on me. <laughs> um, but yeah, let's go ahead and put some glass panes in. I was also thinking maybe black glass would look better or something like that. But of course, we don't have black glass right now, and I need to fill this up. But yeah, for right now that looks, I think that looks fine. Um, that cobble will despawn. <laughs> but um, yeah, so let's go ahead and go in here. I did a little, uh, nice little design here uh, as a little entrance into the storage area. And I was thinking we could put um, inner chest right here or something. Um, also, that wood needs to be changed out for regular wood, so that we may uh, have a clean look back here. Um, yeah, same for over here. So let's go ahead and fix that up so we can move on. Uh, this is the storage little setup I, I did. Um, I ran out of wood, that's why I had to go grab more wood for the chest. Um, it's a pretty basic uh, design. Um, we've got regular chest and we have trap chest so we can put them next to each other. Um, these are double chest turned sideways so we have a flat wall only we have a lot more space than just one wide chest. And we have stairs here so that we can access the chest even with having full black gear. And I was thinking we could put um, item frames maybe right here. Now, I know item frames cause a lot of lag, but I'm not quite worried about that as much as getting the item frames since we don't have a lot of leather, I don't believe. Um, but yeah, uh, and back here there's a torch hidden behind this so that uh, we can have a little lighting back there. You can see the wood right there 
behind the chest. So that's what I've done so far, and I'm going to go ahead and uh, continue this design for a couple more um, sections going on this way. Uh, and I will come back once I've got more of it done, and uh, I just have to worry about moving everything over here. So uh, yeah, we're probably gonna go with signs for right here for now until we can get the item frames. Um, so we can have like a visual indicator of what goes where and uh, we can also name the items so that the item frame uh, when you look at it it'll show you what is above or below or whatever so that's the plan <laughs> so far so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, continue working and I will come back once I've made a lot of progress we're coming for you alright guys I have finished organizing the chest and as you can see all of these chests have been moved uh, we're not gonna put anything right here right now right here right now <laughs> but um it's nice to have these all organized down there and I'll show you what I've done in a second uh, next thing we probably need to work on um, maybe next episode is a furnace array furnace room smelting room somewhere that would be helpful um, Right now, I'll just have some glass cooking, and yeah. So that's it for over here. Is still our little bedroom, uh, as it were, uh, where we sleep. But uh, yeah, let's go ahead and go down here and check out the work that's been done. Uh, I continued another section here, and this section isn't even being used right now. Um, so we have room for expansion that way. Uh, I have plan of what maybe to do here. I'll probably do it in between the episodes. Um, might be a cool thing to show. Uh, but I've gone ahead and, had, gone ahead and uh, organized it. And the reason I leave so much room for more chests and stuff is because I have one chest right now for cobble and that's almost completely filled. So once this gets completely filled, sorry, once this gets completely filled, I'm going to have to move the cobble down here as well and make this an overflow for cobble. Move the stone over, move the wood over, move the plants mob drops. Uh, at some point we might have plants up here, plants up here, mob drops down here, mob drops up here. Um, you know, just as we get accum as we accumulate more items, we're gonna need more storage. So for now, we're just using this one little section for all our needs. We've got redstone up here, uh, tools down here, dirt, sand, uh, all our material or uh, ores and stuff, along with two name tags, which is nice. Um, Wood is another thing that right now I'm filling this whole chest with basically oak stuff. Uh, there's six other, or I think it's like six, six other uh, tree types that also need to be organized once we get them. So this chest right here isn't going to fit all those, so we're probably going to use a whole section just for wood um, in the future. So I also put the anvil down here, another thing, um, until we get a inner chest which we can put right here. But uh, for now, uh, since uh, we haven't really um, yeah, let's go ahead and work on something else since we've uh, go ahead and finished this for now. Um, like I said, I'm probably going to do some more work off camera in between the episodes. But right now, I'm going to go ahead and get myself a flint. And if you can't already guess it, what we're doing, uh, we haven't actually been to the nether yet. So we're going to go ahead and do that this episode. Let's go ahead and make our... Oh, I didn't know you could do it like that. Oh. Go ahead and make our flint and steel, get our obsidian out. Now I'm hoping we get to a good spot where we don't aren't like out in the open. And so where are we gonna make this portal? Actually it's already nighttime, so let's go ahead and sleep. And we can probably make the portal outside so we don't hear it. Um, but at some point we're probably gonna make a room completely just for the portal. Uh, nice portal room. Um, yeah, so let's go ahead and get out here and oh <laughs> I jumped on the crops again. That's another thing we need to do is make a uh, um, mini farm. Uh, now that we have a skeleton farm, we can do that. So let's go ahead and get out our shovel. Hope I don't mess up. One, two, three. One, two, three. Need another block. Two. All right. Perfect. All right, let's go. Let's hope for the best. <laughs> we need to go deeper. Here we go. 
to the nether. Okay. Alright, it's not that bad. We're not too far in the open. I've had it before where we're like, we uh, spawn on islands and stuff, like in the middle of nowhere on top of a uh, lava pool, which is not really a good spot to be. Um, nice quartz. That's a good way to get XP. Um, if you don't have an XP farm, or even if you have an XP farm, um, quartz is a very good way to get more XP. Um, it's actually a little overpowered. Oh wow, the lag. <laughs> Let's go ahead and see here. Wow, I'm rocking at 25 frames. I didn't, uh, I didn't account for this. <laughs> Let's try to find our stronghold, actually, before we go anywhere. Before we go exploring into the nether, <laughs> let's try to find ourselves the cords of the portal. So let's go ahead and take ourselves a screenshot. And there we go. Okay. Oh, didn't mean to do that. There we go. <laughs> uh, just in case we uh, uh, need to find our portal if we get lost. Uh, usually the stronghold is pretty close to the first portal you make. So, or at least I think it's, it spawns near spawn. I don't really know how they do it, but if we got a stronghold over lava, that would be perfect um, because that is the um, best way to get wither skeletons is if your um, portal, not portal, stronghold is over lava. So that's what I'm hoping for is if we get a nice stronghold with a lot of bridges um, because bridges are what wither skeletons spawn on. Oh, that's, that's a nice hole. <laughs> oh, and here we go. We got the ghast, and I have my bow but no arrows well that was smart Chris also don't have inner pearls which is another good thing to have in the nether also can be dangerous though because if you uh, aren't careful enough you'll knock yourself into lava I am not seeing the stronghold sadly oh no no Man, okay, let's keep walking this way. Let's see if we can spot it. Let's take a look over here. This goes back to the lava pool. Mm. Let me get a better look. I'm really, I'm, you can see I'm really hoping that we get one over this lava pool. Um, but if not, I mean, any stronghold is better than none. <laughs> and we can always explore the nether and looking for a... Uh, another stronghold so uh, yeah I wanted to uh, talk about something that I've been thinking about I actually have a server um, for those who are new I did a SMP and I'm about to get a Skype message I know it er, um, <laughs> sorry I uh, I have a server um, or actually I'm a co-owner of a server it's the uh, cobalt server I actually did an SMP let's play on it and that kinda got stopped when um, when the server went down and then when we finally got the server back up, two or three weeks later, uh, the world was corrupt, and that's primarily why I haven't been playing on the SMP server. Uh, so, I mean, we started the single player world, and I'm I'm happy with this. So, I'm not sure if we're gonna do another SMP let's play, but since I have a server, I have the capabilities of actually putting this world on this server. And you guys could come on to the server and uh, basically be able to explore my world and um, be there in person and be able to um, check out everything. And um, I'll be on there probably, so you can see me. Uh, also, we could um, put different mini games and things on the server. Uh, I'm not sure if you want to make a full blown, or yeah, I'm not sure if I want to make a full blown server where I mean. Um, like, I don't know, for example, like the Hypixel server or something. I'm not sure if I want to make a server that massive, or at least try. Alright, come on, come on. Come here. Right. Magma cream is what we need for healing potions, so. Let's see if we get some of these. Nope. They're kind of rare, actually, I think. But, um, yeah, so if you think that's a good idea where we could, uh, basically be able to play on the same world um, I think it would be fun <laughs> personally uh, also if you just want to play on a server with me 
I've mentioned this before on some of my other videos, uh, I would be more than happy to try to uh, get a time where we can all get on a, a, a minigame server, play paintball or uh, Super Smash Mobs, because that's one of my favorite games. <laughs> um, anything like that, and I am wandering far. Let me make sure I don't wander too far from the uh, portal. But uh, yeah, if you think that's a good idea, just let me know. Um, I would really just need your Skype name, and uh, I can contact you, and we can uh, talk about playing together. I've done it before, and it's been pretty fun to play with you guys, actually. Um, yeah, I've had loads of fun playing with people like uh, Alex, for example. I've started playing with a guy named Alex. He's one of my fans. Uh, who messaged me about uh, maybe doing some videos together because he is a small YouTuber. Uh, so if you've seen my recent Super Smash Mods video, he was in that. And uh, we had a lot of fun. So uh, if you are interested in that, just let me know. And uh, we can try to get, to get together and play a game or two. <laughs> uh, I'm going to try to find the portal. Not the portal. I'm trying to find the stronghold. And if I don't, we'll return to the portal. But, uh, yeah, I will return momentarily. <laughs> Alright, guys, I looked everywhere. I even went behind the portal in the other direction, found another lava pool. Uh, still didn't find a uh, stronghold. Not stronghold. Um, another fortress. So, I don't know what is with that. Usually, they're pretty close to where you... Uh... Oh, man, I did not mean for that to happen. These creepers, man. <laughs> yeah, cause I was really hoping to explore a uh, nether fortress this episode. Um, but, if, I mean, we can do that next episode. I will look everywhere I can um, in that nether <laughs> to find a fortress for you guys. Because I really want to explore one. Because um, I know with the new chest um, that spawned in them and things, you can get really good stuff. Like diamond horse armor and things. So... Uh, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Um, I'm going to go ahead and pull a comment for this episode. Because uh, we're going to go ahead and finish it off. We uh, were able to make our storage room, or at least uh, the part of it. Um, this will be good for now. Um, I even mentioned like the first episode that this was one of the first things I wanted to do, was make our storage room. Because uh, it did take me a good 10 minutes to 15 minutes to move all that stuff from up there to all the way over here and sort it all out. And, uh, yeah, it's just a lot easier than making a million chests up here and then coming back 40 episodes later and having to sort it all into these chests. So, I'm happy with that. Um, so, I'm going to work on the storage room in between the episodes. I'm going to work on uh, probably find the nether fortress. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, we'll come back in episode 6 because I think this is episode 5. Yeah, we'll come back in episode 6 with a lot of work done. Um, school is starting for me. Um, so I will have to work out, um, a schedule where I can still put out videos while still getting my, uh, schooling done, so, uh, I'll have to figure that out, um, because I, I still want to get episodes out for you guys, but at the same time, school is a, um, main priority here, so, I'm gonna go pull a comment, and we will be right back. Alright guys, I have picked the comment for the episode, uh, this was a comment left on episode four uh and this person said love the series and the content all together but i have to ask do you plan on doing live streams in the near or distant future and the answer is yes i am planning on doing live streams now how um, soon i'll be able to do live streams um that i don't know um, I'm able to do live streams right now. If you go over to Twitch, and I will put a link in the description, if you go over to Twitch, um, you will be able to uh, find me at uh, twitch.tv slash cprymer. So if you want to um, find me on Twitch, um, I do actually live stream quite often, but not many people know about it, and so... Uh, not many people watch it, so <laughs> uh, if you also want to know when I'm live streaming, you can follow me on Twitter, uh, and that would be, what is it, 
twitter.com slash CPRYMER. If you search CPRYMER on Twitter, uh, you will find me, and you can, uh, uh, I will update you on when I'm live streaming. Uh, also, I will put a link in the description for that. So, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed. <laughs> uh, I am really enjoying this series, and I hope you are too. Uh, we've got a lot done today, and I plan to make a lot of work in between the two episodes. So, I will catch you guys next time. Thank you guys for watching. See ya. <laughs>